there are two types of ways you can control your budget with Facebook ads. You can use daily or lifetime budgets. Although either one is viable for pretty much any campaign type, they both do have their own strengths and weaknesses and there are some settings that are different between the two. So in this video, I wanna give you an overview of how to set up daily versus lifetime budgets and then talk about some scenarios where you might use one versus the other. In Facebook, I've created a new placeholder traffic campaign so we can go through the different budget controls that we have available. The first option is actually going to live at the campaign level and it's gonna be all the way down here at the bottom and it's campaign budget optimization. Both daily and lifetime budgets are eligible to work with campaign budget optimization. And if you wanna know what CBO is and how it works, we have another video that you can check out at the top of the video screen right now. But I'm not gonna to go too far in depth on that today, but I will bounce back and forth and show you the slight different setups if you're going to use campaign budget optimization or if you're going to use ad set level budgets. For right now, I'm gonna use the more traditional approach of the ad set level budget rather than campaign budget optimization, and then we'll come back to this. So for now, let's hop into the ad set, and then just a few blocks down here, we'll jump into the budget and schedule section for the campaign. The default for any ad set, any new build that you're going to do in Facebook, is going to be a daily budget, and it's almost always going to be $20. That's what it looks like, at least on my end, in my experience, it's always $20. And the little note below, you'll see it says, you'll spend up to $25 on some days and less on others. You'll spend an average of $20 a day and no more than $140 per calendar week. So although you can spend a little over $20 a day, upwards to that $25 mark in this example, you still won't average more than $20 a day. And on a calendar week, you'll only spend 140. If you've run a lot of campaigns on Google ads, you'll realize how nice it is that Facebook doesn't give themselves nearly as much variable as Google does. On any given day, Google can spend up to twice your daily budget. And on the average, it'll balance out to your daily budget, but it takes a full 30 days to get there. Facebook has a lot more control and keeps you in line with your daily budget on a weekly basis. Aside from the spend variant, one thing to know about daily budgets is that Facebook will strive to spend your entire daily budget every single day, regardless of what performance is. If you give it a $20 a day budget, Facebook's goal is going to be to spend that entire $20 every single day. And it will try and get to that level no matter what you're doing in terms of conversions, or in this case, the traffic campaign or any of the engagement, anything like that. So daily budgets can be great if you're trying to keep a lot of control and make sure that your spend is consistent, but it doesn't mean Facebook is going to spend it in such a way that is trying to get you the best results. We'll get more into that later with a lifetime budget. The only other controls that you have for daily budget are going to be the start and end date. Daily budgets are a pretty good fit for evergreen campaigns because the end date is optional. You don't need to set a specific end date for your campaign. It can run indefinitely, just the way that you would have a number of search campaigns or something like that running. But you can build the campaign ahead of time and set a start date. And then if you do wanna have an end date in here, all you have to do is check the box and it'll allow you to put in a different day and then specific time of that day for you to have the end date. For now, I'll keep it off. And then there is this show more options link down below, but when it opens up, it'll be for ad scheduling and you can see that it's grayed out. And if I hover over anything and try to be doing anything here, it doesn't let me do anything because ad scheduling is not eligible with daily budgets on Facebook. If you're going to run a daily budget, you don't get to schedule your ads. So you're only able to schedule with lifetime budgets as the note says below. So to take a look at that and all the different settings, let's switch the ad set level budget setting to lifetime. Now you can see a few things have changed. First, the lifetime budget increased quite a bit from that $20 level. Facebook opts you into a $350 minimum to start. For some reason, this is also the default number. And it says you won't spend more than 350 during the lifetime of your ad set. You'll spend more on days with more opportunities and less on days with fewer opportunities, which basically means that Facebook is going to try and spend more on days where it thinks it can get more return for your ad spend, no matter what your objective is. And it's going to spend less on days where it doesn't see as many opportunities. Obviously, everything that goes into those calculations is a bit of a mystery from the advertiser perspective but there are signals that Facebook uses to decide which days have more or less opportunity. And with a lifetime budget, you'll notice that your spend fluctuates on any given day based on those opportunity levels. Down below in the ad schedule section, 
We still have the start date, it's still set at the same time, but now there is an end date, and Facebook usually sets this out 30 to 31 days, something like that in the future for you by default. But you can set this end date to be whatever you want, but you do have to have an end date in place because it is a lifetime budget. So Facebook needs to know what the lifetime is, how many days, how many hours your campaign is going to run so that it can allocate your budget evenly or at least pace so that it ends the budget at the same $350 mark that you set in your budget parameters. Now this doesn't mean that lifetime budgets can't be used for evergreen campaigns. Although daily budgets with the fact that you give a specific daily budget and Facebook sticks pretty close to it and there's no end date might lend itself more logically to an evergreen campaign, lifetime budgets still can be used in evergreen campaign strategies. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. There are two different schools of thought. One is you can either keep your existing campaign and simply add more budget and extend the end date when you get close to the end of the campaign run so that Facebook knows it can scale up, it needs to keep going and it needs to keep spending beyond the day and beyond the budget level that you had originally set. So you're basically just constantly moving the goalposts, if you will, on that same campaign. The other strategy is to let your starting campaign, so this campaign that we have set up here, let that end on November 1st on its original day, let it spend that $350 budget, and then duplicate it into a new campaign or a new ad set, give it a fresh lifetime budget, a fresh ad schedule where it doesn't overlap with the old one, and then you're essentially running the exact same audience targeting, creatives, until you make changes that you were in the previous campaign, so it effectively is an evergreen campaign because your strategies have continued, but you just have a new line item in the Facebook account. In my experience, I haven't seen one of those work necessarily better or worse than the other. I know some people like to just extend the budget and the dates for campaigns that are doing very well. That way they don't feel like they have to reset Facebook's learning with an entire quote unquote new campaign or new ad set. And then on the flip side, folks who aren't seeing as strong a performance probably do want to end up duplicating the campaign or ad set into a new group. So it resets Facebook's learning. But again, those aren't foolproof reasons. Those are probably just a couple of best practices of whether you want to use lifetime budget and extending for evergreen. And if so, how you're going to go about it, whether it's extending the budget and the date range, or if you want to duplicate things out and give it a fresh start. Lastly, lifetime budgets will let you run ad scheduling. So here you can see that this box became available and you can check the checkbox here. And then we get all of the different ad scheduling sections available. And we already have a video that goes over ad scheduling. So I'm not gonna go into detail in this video, but if you're interested, you can check out the link in the top of the video box right now. So let's go ahead and uncheck this, try to get rid of the error that we see here. And I mentioned that you can run both daily and lifetime budgets on campaign budget optimization as well. So I wanna show you what the differences look like there because they are just slightly different. So if we go back to the campaign setup, come all the way down here and we're going to toggle campaign budget optimization on. Now you'll set your budget level at the campaign level. So here I have the daily budget of $25 in place, and it still gives me the note that says you'll spend up to $31.25 on some days and less on others. You'll spend an average of 25 bucks per day and no more than 175 in a calendar week. Overall, this functions exactly the same as the daily budgets do at the ad set level, but it'll just be split between all of your different ad sets. If we come down to the show more options link, we will still see that the ad scheduling is there, but it is still grayed out and you can only run it with lifetime budgets. It's pretty easy to change over to a lifetime budget as I'm sure you guessed. So if you update that, it now shows that it's 700. I could change that to whatever I wanted, but the disclaimer is the same. It'll only spend up to $700 during the lifetime of the campaign, but some days will have more, some days will have less. The only real difference at setting a lifetime budget at the campaign level as opposed to the ad set level is that when it comes to ad scheduling at the campaign level, you'll just check the box, but you'll see here that there's no grid that shows up below it because you'll set the specific schedule at the ad set level. So once you've checked the box, you would then need to go into your ad set, scroll down here, we can still set the start and end date, and you'll need to set these at the specific time for each of the ad sets. And then down here, you'll see that you cannot uncheck the run ads on a schedule box here, but you do have the grid so that you can add and take away the different days and hours for your ad scheduling the way that you wanted to. So overall, the functionality is pretty similar across 
ad set level, or campaign level budgets for daily and lifetime budget types. Before we close out this video, I want to hop into PowerPoint and just recap some of the main points we talked about in the video and which are going to be the right things for daily versus lifetime budgets. I believe daily budgets are probably still the most common type used on Facebook, at least by advertisers who run campaigns across multiple different platforms. They're very similar to the way that Google or Microsoft search campaign budgets would work on a daily basis. And they will always work to spend the same amount every day, which will be your max budget, regardless of performance. So this is a bit of a double-edged sword. It is much easier to pace out your spend and know what to expect in terms of a spend perspective with daily budgets, but you don't get the added benefit of Facebook helping you to optimize for your performance metrics. From my experience, these are best used with evergreen campaigns because there's no end date and you can be a little bit more flexible with varying budgets over time. With lifetime budgets, you need to add budget to the total of the campaign as opposed to just incremental daily spend levels. But with that said, there are some best practices for adding or taking away spend from Facebook campaigns. And we have another video about scaling Facebook ad campaigns that you can check out right here if you're interested in that. The thing I do like about daily budgets is that you as the advertiser control when you want to get more or less aggressive with your spend. Might be a little bit more difficult because it's not real time, but you can start to notice some trends and either give or take away budget from your different ad sets or campaigns based on the performance that you're seeing coming through with daily budgets. Lifetime budgets, on the other hand, are beneficial in that they let Facebook help you spend more or less on any given day based on the performance opportunities that it sees there that you wouldn't have insights into. So it is really helpful that they can get more aggressive on some days, less aggressive on others, but it also doesn't categorically mean that Facebook always bets correctly. Some days I've seen them spend a lot more budget that didn't yield the results I wanted, and other days spend was low and it had great performance. I would have rather spent more on those given days. Just like any other advertising platform algorithm, Facebook's is not foolproof, but it can help you lean into performance sometimes when it has enough data to make those decisions. Your lifetime budgets will always require a start and end date, and it'll allow you to schedule your ads for different days of the week and hours of the day. So this, in my mind, gives you the most capabilities to schedule your ads, but you are restricted insofar as you have to have an end date on the campaign. You cannot leave it open-ended in the traditional evergreen style campaign. But that doesn't mean that lifetime budgets can't be used for evergreen campaigns. As I mentioned, you can do that and you just need to determine which strategy you wanna use. Do you want to get to the end of the lifetime budget and add more spend and extend the end date on the existing campaign, which likely is best suited for campaigns that are seeing good performance? Or do you want to let the time run out, let the budget run out on the existing campaign or ad set, and then simply duplicate it, give it a new end date, give it fresh budget, and let Facebook kind of relearn from scratch, if you will, with that new lifetime budget in place. Either strategy is viable. Some might work in some accounts better than others. It's not going to be a categorical, this is the one you should do versus this is the one that somebody else should do. So test it out and see what works best in your account. And that advice doesn't just go with using lifetime budgets for evergreen campaigns. It also goes for deciding if you want to use daily or lifetime budgets, depending on which one works best for you. Now you know the different settings that you have in place, the different capabilities that you have, and how Facebook can either help or hurt you depending on the different budgeting settings that you have in place. Hopefully I've made these a little bit clearer, but as always, if you have any other questions or if you've seen any other strategies work out well, we would love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you wanna get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.